Welcome to Playtime with Grandpa Bob. Hi Robbie, Charlie, Ross, and Miles. This is Grandpa Bob. And today I'm going to show you a fun thing I used to do when I was a little boy. I used to play paper football. I'm going to show you today how to make a paper football of your own and how to play that fun game that I used to play when I was younger. The first thing you want to do when you make a paper football is find a piece of scratch paper that you don't need anymore. And then you want to take it and you want to fold it in thirds about, kind of like this. Okay, so about halfway that way and then fold it over again like this. So you have a piece of paper that looks kind of like this, okay? It doesn't have to be exact, but sort of like that. And then you wanna start folding it the corners over like this. And you fold the corners over all the way down. So you fold it like that, and then you fold like this, right on the edge so that the edges are all lined up. And then you fold it like this to this corner. And then like this, and it'll look like this. And then what you do is you wanna fold this part over like that. And then you take this piece and you tuck it inside here, like this. See how that is? Tuck it right inside there. Try to make it really tight. Your mom and dad can help you with this if it's too tricky, but you wanna fold it like that so it's all tucked inside, okay? So then when you're done, you have a really tight little triangle full of paper like this. And that's how you make a paper football. For example, since real footballs are brown, you might want to color it brown. Make it kind of brown like this. Okay. And then if you really want to be really cool, you can make it all filled in brown. After I get it all colored in, sometimes to make it last longer, I like to put tape on it. You can just get a piece of scotch tape like this. You can kind of tape it like this to keep it from coming apart. So maybe a few pieces of tape on the edge there so it doesn't come apart. You can just wrap it around like that maybe. Maybe I'll put some over on this side too. Okay, so here's our, here's our paper football. Isn't that cool? Now that we have the paper football, I'm gonna show you how to play the paper football game. Okay, here's how you play paper football. Usually you have two players across a table from each other, and one player starts near their edge and flicks the ball, the football to the other person. And then it's the other person's turn, and they do it back. Oh, not very far. And back and forth you go, back and forth. And what you try to do is you wanna flick it so that it it hangs over the edge, but doesn't go off the edge. And that's a touchdown. Yay! If you do that. Okay, so you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If someone gets a touchdown, then the other person gets to start and do it again. And what happens if it goes off the edge though? If you hit it too hard, and it goes off the edge. Oh no, oh no! Then the other person gets to kick a field goal. I'm gonna show you how to kick a field goal now, all right? When you kick a field goal, one person puts their fingers like this, okay? And the other person holds the football and tries to kick it by flicking it up in the air, like that. It has to go over the person's, other person's fingers and between their thumbs to be good, okay? And if you kick a field goal and it's good, you get a point. But if you get a touchdown, it's worth two points. Wow. And then you can keep score on a little piece of paper. And that's how you play paper football. Here comes a field goal. 
It's good. It's good.